Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you know your love style? Love is an intense feeling of affection. It can be quite complex, as you may love certain people and things differently. As that definition can be quite ambiguous, there are further love classifications you may have, also known as love styles. Take the quiz to find out your love style. There'll be 10 questions. Record the letter you pick every time. If you can't pick between two answers, choose which resonates with you the most. Let's begin. Number one, after a long day, what's one thing you'd love to do the most to occupy your time? A, have a nice dinner with your significant other. B, crash at a friend's house and spend hours binging TV shows. C, go on a dating app and look for someone to spend the night with. D, participate in self-care and enjoy hobbies in solitude. Number two, you spot an old acquaintance that had a crush on you before. You, A, try to make a move on them. B, be friendly with them just like old times. C, joke around and poke light fun around them. Or D, act like your normal self. Number three, at a party, you're most looking forward to A, talk to the most attractive person in the room. B, stick around with people you know and have a fun time with the gang. C, flirt and banter with strangers. Or D, have a good time, regardless of who I'm with. Number four, at school, you're most known for being A, an outspoken classmate. B, the loyal friend. C, the class clown. Or D, the most organized. Number five, how do you comfort a friend when they break up with their partner? A, tell them their ex was a good for nothing anyway. B, talk to them with empathy and kindness. They're at a tough spot. C, joke around and invite them out for a friendly night out. Or D, give them space, but make sure to check up on them from time to time. Number six, when your friend or partner has done something wrong to you, what do you usually do? A, I'd be fuming. B, I'll give them a second chance. Or C, I'd forget about it. Or D, my needs go first. I'll reconsider whether they're still good for my life or not. Number seven, what do you look for in a partner? A, someone who's sexually attractive. B, someone who can also be my best friend. C, someone who knows how to lighten the mood. Or D, a loyal and sincere partner. Number eight, when do you think is the right time to kiss someone? A, as soon as the spark appears, even if it's the first date. B, after we get to know each other more. C, when they wanna kiss me too. Or D, when the time feels right. Number nine, what's your idea of a healthy relationship? A, physical intimacy. B, after some time, they'll be the person I share all my secrets with. C, that we can joke around and flirt while still remaining committed. Or D, we share the same values and are committed to each other. Number 10, how would you describe your love style? A, passionate and intense. B, I like to take things slow and embrace the moments spent together. C, I'd go with the flow as long as we're both enjoying ourselves. Or D, I make sure I'm ready first and then I'll open up to others. Okay, time for results. All tallied up, here are your love styles according to the letter that appears the most. Eros, sexual passion. If A appears the most, your dominant love style is Eros. This type of love represents sexual passion and desire. You're the hopeless romantic type. Quite turbulent at times, but a true passionate lover. People would regard you as a spirited and energetic type, and you're known to be someone who's not afraid to speak their mind. Philia, deep, loyal friendship. If B appears the most, you're a philia lover. This type of love represents friendship and close companionship. You value honesty, loyalty, and commitment, and you expect your partner to share the same values too. People would describe you as someone who will defend your friends and lovers till the very end. You're also known to be cheerful, easygoing, and empathic. Ludus, flirty, playful love. 
If C appears the most, you're an idealistic Lutus lover. This type of love represents playfulness and flirtatiousness. People may describe you as the life of the party at times. There are no dull moments when you're around. You like being adventurous in your approaches and you're known to be a spontaneous person who can be talking with a stranger one minute and dancing with them the next. Velasha, self-compassion. If your most common letter is D, your most dominant love style is a Velasha type of love. You are self-compassionate and have a strong internal compass. Your strong ability to be in tune with your values and morals makes you naturally attractive to people who share similar values. You are considered to be thoughtful, kind, and considerate, which your partner loves about you. What love style did you get? Have we missed anything? If your results were accurate, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video if you had fun taking the quiz. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.